Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today I want to talk about game design philosophy and how the fun factor isn't necessarily enough of a driving force to play a game for an extended period of time. Having fun is really only the topical desire of gaming and the psychological draws beyond the simplistic fun factor are deep and varied. In this video I'd like to talk about the draw of some of my favorite games and how progression systems can create some of the most powerful reasons to play beyond the basic fun factor. Perhaps a bit deeper than my usual weapon review video, but this is a topic that's sort of been on my mind for a while. Now depending on what type of game you are playing, the allure could be very different. MMOs can draw players in with deep progression systems and a storyline. Games like Tetris can play upon the rewards of puzzle solving and mental agility. Adding the social dynamic to games increases many of the rewarding sensations we experience during gaming by sharing those experiences with others. Battlefield does this masterfully by creating exhilarating events and sharing those intense experiences with a friend can create strong memories. I still look back at previous Battlefield games and have very distinct memories of crazy battles that I was going through with friends at the time. Now Battlefield 1 has the ability just as much if not more than previous Battlefield games to create those insane battle experiences where just about anything can happen in almost every game you play you see some sort of new event or something happen that you may have never seen before. And as much as the team at DICE has really mastered the sandbox experience that you can play with friends and have an absolute blast with the most crazy Battlefield moments, there is an important element of this game that has been lacking and unfortunately has been lesser than previous Battlefield games in the past. And unfortunately, I think this is such an important component that it's making my personal draw to continue to return to Battlefield 1 slightly less than it has been in the past. And speaking with my friends who also play, I'm finding they are having similar feelings. This might be interpreted as getting bored of the game or gaming in general, but that really doesn't appear to be the case with me. Every time I hop into a game of Battlefield 1, I'm certainly having fun with it, and especially when playing one of my new favorite game modes, Operations, I'm often feeling challenged and enjoying the flow of the gameplay. In addition to which, I'm still interested in and playing other video games outside of YouTube. So my passion for gaming really hasn't died down, or even my passion for first-person shooters or the Battlefield franchise, but rather my evolving expectations from games and franchises and features. Something I noticed very early with Battlefield 1 is that after hitting rank 3 or 4 with most classes, there really wasn't much more to try and unlock. And at this point during the progression system, System, you've unlocked pretty much 90% of what there is to get in this game. Having a progression system end or rather peak so early kind of robbed me of any long-term goals. Even Battlefield 4 had mastery dog tags for weapons and Battlefield Hardline had higher level skins that you could only purchase with lots of in-game experience but Battlefield 1 really doesn't have anything like that. Now one could certainly argue that a progression system is nothing more than meaningless topical additions to a game that doesn't really affect or improve the gameplay experience. And to a certain extent, I'd have to agree with that. But then why do I desire these goal-oriented experiences so much? I can only conclude that for me, the best gaming experience is when extremely fun gameplay is also combined with a great reward system. A system that has some easy to achieve goals like daily missions and also long term goals that could take hundreds of hours to complete. However, this may not be the case for everyone and there is a small chance that DICE deliberately designed Battlefield 1 in a way to avoid a deep progression system to steer traffic towards their battle packs which do cost money. However, conspiracy theories aside, I think the more likely explanation is that they just didn't have the production time to create a more evolved progression system. And the problem with the battle pack system for me is that the skins you get from battle packs no longer correlate to a player's skill or dedication. A cool skin simply represents luck or money, but never anything more. This removes any bragging rights one might have when showing off a cool golden gun skin. And although the battle pack system does mimic other games quite closely, generally speaking, other games have a nice hybrid system of prestige items and then buy it now items, 
Overwatch, for example, guarantees loot boxes every time you level up, which is a set increment. Dedicated players will get a guaranteed amount of loot crates the more you play and win matches. Furthermore, there are also skins and items that can only be achieved through ranked play. This creates a system which both has bragging rights of a progression-based reward system and the cool customization of a buy it now system. Other games like Rainbow Six Siege have a similar model. And in fact, just about all other major first person shooters being played today have a similar hybrid system. Call of Duty, Titanfall 2, Planet Side 2, Team Fortress 2, Killing Floor 2, and even some of the survival games like DayZ and H1Z1 allow you to customize your character based on what you're able to achieve during your gaming session. Even Battlefield Hardline had a much richer progression experience with merit-based achievements. Now when it comes to merit-based achievements in Battlefield 1, it's so incredibly simple I can describe the whole system in a single sentence. You get a unique weapon at rank 10 for each class and a few vehicle skins for tanker and pilot rank 10. That's it. That's the entire system. I mean, sure, there's a few pointless dog tags and codexes that sit in your menu system, never being shown off in game, but otherwise, that's pretty much it. I can't think of another AAA shooter with a lesser progressions-based system than Battlefield 1. And I did already make a video specifically about the lacking progression system of BF1, and I don't really want to repeat myself too much in this video, but I do like to examine the fact that progression systems aren't just weird little things that happen to come bundled with big AAA games. For me, they represent an integral part to the long-term gaming experience. And sure, the gaming world existed and functioned prior to the mass adoption of these reward-based systems, but once developers and gamers alike discovered the power and joy of these reward systems, they became a staple of what we expect in the modern game design. Just like ragdoll physics, online matchmaking, and leveling up were all cool features at one point in time, they are now considered to be pretty much necessary to the gaming experience. The absence of these features is often unacceptable or even jarring at times and can make the gaming experience feel outdated, just as Battlefield 1 feels lacking without any meaningful progression-based system. Now, of course, the progression-based system is important to me. I play Battlefield a lot. I would love more items in the game to signify and represent my my commitment and dedication to this game. But what about the casual players out there? I can see why some people might not be as concerned about an evolved progression-based system. When I'm playing a game that I know I'm not going to be dedicating myself to for the long term or I'm just playing a few rounds with friends, the progression system means far less to me. I'm not as concerned about the high-level skins or unlocking cool medals or uh, tags for my character. I just want to play and have a bit of fun with friends, which is perfectly acceptable. That that being said, I'm never bothered by nor would I want to take away this more evolved system that dedicated players enjoy and can use to set goals for themselves. And in a way, because Battlefield 1 does lack this kind of system, you could say that it's catered more towards the casual crowd and that the hardcore player base looking for an achievement system to reflect their dedication skill may just go elsewhere for that kind of satisfaction. And the more I talk about the subject, the more I can see how it could appear as sort of a vain topic. I need to have cool cosmetic items or things to show off my skill, my dedication, or to have me stand out from the crowd. But at the same time, I can't ignore the fact that this is an important element of gaming to me now. It wasn't always. These systems didn't always exist in first-person shooters and other elements of just playing with friends or joining up for a quick game or two was more than enough to keep me involved in a game. But personally, my gaming interests have evolved and I've come to expect more from the gaming experience. Battlefield 1 is so close to delivering a complete gaming experience for me, but it is lacking that one very important element. And DICE has been very tight-lipped about whether or not they are going to address the progression system in this game or if they're just going to stick with their battle pack system for the foreseeable future. I mean, they're definitely going ahead with adding more stuff to the battle pack system for the holiday season and all that, but none of that is based on progression or things that you can really control in-game. So to me, it becomes 
far less interesting and far less valuable. I'd love to know what you guys think about this whole system. Does progression mean a lot to you? Uh, are you enjoying Battlefield 1 just fine right now? Do you think it might bother you further down the line in the future if you become more dedicated to the game? Or can you simply relate to this from playing other games that you might be more dedicated to? Let me know what you think in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.